Today's Action Features .net Toy Talk Review is on the Batman Classic TV Series Mattel 6-inch Adam West of Batman figure. And like, I just, like we're going to say in all these videos for these, I want to just highlight how great this packaging is. Um, I think it's just awesome design work. We've got the Batman Classic TV Series logo up here, the bat signal shining in the sky, Batman and Robin in this great art heading up a building, a different saying for Robin on each packaging. On this one, it's, Holy Forecast, Batman! And down here we've got the Batman logo, we've got embossed Bam, Pow, and Wham on the bubble, which is an awesome touch. I think this is just really cool, making use out of something that we usually just chuck and throw away. It's got this nice patterning around the Bam sound effect thing of Batman, and we've got all these embossed things along the, the front of it. Then this, there's a little shot along here that has a picture of what I'm assuming is going to be the art card. As you can tell, I haven't opened this yet, so I don't know for sure it's the art card but I'm going to find out once I open it. Um, so that's all of the front of the package. On the back of the package, we've got... Um, I'm going to zoom this out just a smidge. We've got the Batman Classic TV Series logo. We've got Batman's name over here. I'm going to read this for you. Kapow! The debonair millionaire Bruce Wayne may seem like your average cool cat, but you would be wrong. With the flip of a Shakespeare head and to the Batcave, Gotham City is filled with a rogues gallery of, gr of criminals eager to unmask the Batman, but they are thwarted by the Cape Crusader's own clever ways. We've got this great sort of 60s-esque art of Batman with the logo behind him. Same bat time, same bat channel featuring, and then little images of the other figures in the line. Here's another look at him from the front carded before we take a look at our loose version. All right, so now we got Adam West Batman out of the package. Ooh, we're going to zoom on him just a little bit. Uh, here's his art card. It's a great shot of Batman and Robin inside the Batmobile. It looks like almost the, like the figures were used for reference on this. It seems a little bit stiff on Batman as compared to the other two cards. This is probably my least favorite of the three. Um, again, I do like that it's up and down as opposed to Riddler's, but there you go. And then his card back features a chunk of the Batmobile inside the Batcave, uh, depending on which way you want to display it, since you have the option with these. His stand says POW and is in yellow with the screen POW on there. The same as the other two, it's a black stand with a black peg right there. We'll put Batman on it in just a second here. Um, same as Riddler, but Batman has a slightly different type and shade of plastic on the, the legs where it meets at this joint here. So you're getting a, a slightly different gray between the two. That's a little strange. Looks a little weird. Um, something we'll get into when we get to the review, but thinking maybe it might turn out a little better on this close-up. Um, Alright, so there he is with his stand. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because that made him taller. Whoop. There he is from the front. Take him all the way around. There's the back. His cape flipped up. And back to the front. And we'll take him off the stand. In case you don't watch the Penguin review, um, here he is next to Penguin and the Riddler. So there, all three of them are together. Now we're gonna grab this guy up. We'll take him over to the couch and we'll do the review. Hey everybody, and welcome to an ActionFeatures.net Toy Talk review. Man, we have done one, two, three, four. This is our fifth video tonight. And then we're gonna, we're gonna do, do one more. We're gonna do six videos. This is the most videos we've ever done in one night. So in case you're wondering why we're wearing the same clothes in all these videos, it's because we're recording them all in a row. I don't know. I think we've done more because... Nope. We've never done more, more than... Uh, well, there was one time where we did six. I don't think we've ever done six. We did the three He-Man twice, your Batmobile statue thing, and then a comic review that one. That's five. Oh, then yeah. Yeah. So this I... is the first time we've ever done six. Yes. Um, all right. So we're finishing off, as you can tell by the opening sequence, mm -hmm. the Mattel Batman Classic TV Series six-inch figure line. And we saved the best one of the three that we have for last. Yep. And that is Batman, as you can tell by this opening sequence. Again, packaging is amazing. Embossed with bam, pow, wham. It's got the cool cutout. It's got great art on the back. The one, Different sayings from Robin. Dedicated card art on the back. The one thing I was going to say, I like how they're doing I like how the show did, like, the pow cards and stuff. Yeah. It was more like a comic, and I guess then it was a lighter show, and they couldn't really show. Yeah, it was the, campy. They can't really show the violence. Yeah, too they much. they try to like cut away uh -huh, the power. And and I like it though. It's kind of like an old comic. I love comic. it. I, I, I mean, love, this the show really, has its place for sure. It's really funny too. Yeah, it's uh, like it's I said in one watch. of the, the Riddler things. 
It was my first exposure to Batman mm -hmm. as a kid. I think that's what I started off you on, too. I think I started you on the Adam West show before. Yeah, you started me off on the movie, I think. Yeah, and same with Keaton. I think he watched the Adam West show before the Batman series and no, stuff I like that. No, I think he... I thought he did watch... I think he might have watched the... Mm -mm. No? Nope, I showed him Adam West shows first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, okay, so as with the other figures, he comes with an art card. On the front one side, it's Batman and Robin in the Batmobile. Uh, I think this is maybe the weakest card of the three. Yes. I think this should have came with the Batman and Robin 2-pack, and Batman's card should have been dedicated to just Batman. Uh -huh. uh, but it's still a cool card. And then on the back, it's a, sh a chunk of the Batcave. This time, you can see the Batmobile sitting there. You can put it in his PAL That's stand. That's my favorite of the stand. That has the most color. And... Yeah, it's got a really cool uh -huh. color, a really cool vibe to it. I used yellow background on all the pictures. Because uh -huh, it's more of a hat. It's, it's really, yeah. yeah. So I, I changed my background paper. If you want to see pictures of this figure, there'll be a link in the info section on this YouTube video if you're watching this on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I used a, a funky yellow background for all of them because I thought I had a good 60s vibe to it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this has a very 60s show vibe, the stand does. So you can put it in either with that side or this side um, showing as opposed to the Riddler card. I'm just saying this, this doesn't really have much to do with the figure or anything. I like how in the 60s show, they could go out during the daytime because it's not darker. Yeah, Batman. it's it's a it's a, it's uh -huh. a campy, fun Batman. Right. All right, so here's the figure. Um, he's got, let's do articulation first. He's got ankles, knees, mid-thigh, the weird kind of hip thing where it goes out and then up and down. He's got a waist swivel, an ab crunch, ball-jointed shoulders, bicep swivels, elbows, wrists, and then a ball-jointed head. And I really want to take note of this ball-jointed head because it is very well done. I didn't even realize it was a ball-joint at first. Um, it can kind of move all around and not be hindered by the cape. Right. Um, the cape is kind of inside that joint. Um, but it can go up and down, and it has folds and things like that. I was really seriously impressed by this ball-jointed head. Right. I think it, it's very well done. Mm -hmm. um, I, I give kudos to them on that joint, for Batman's sure. He's a little on the skinny side. He's a bit on the skinny side. We'll get to that. Let's, let's okay. talk about the articulation first. Just like the Riddler, I wish they would not have done this ab crunch. Uh -huh. <clears throat> the figure would look so much better if it had just a solid chest right. sculpt. Um, as it is, that stand, as it stands, it looks a little robotic with that big chunk in the middle there. And it really doesn't add too much to the figure to have that joint. Uh -huh. um, other than that, I don't have too much problems with the articulation. Um, I think that it's well hidden, especially on the hips on this one, because of that blue material, the right. blue paint kind of hides the joint a little. Sorry if you're yawning, dude. We'll, we're okay. almost done. We're okay. going to cook right through. Um, other than that ab crunch, I really don't have too much of a, right. a problem with these, these joints. Um, they could be a little more hidden. Maybe they didn't have to do so many, but what can you do? Can... It's, it's in the days of articulation. Uh, same as the Riddler, there's a kind of a, a mismatch in tone between the gray and the leg mm -hmm. up into the thigh. It's not as noticeable on Riddler, though. You can make it through these, yeah, one. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's not even late. I don't, everybody, no. don't think I'm being it's, a bad parent. It's really not late. I just had a long day because yeah. I had like a two hour, I went to my grandma's house and that was a long, longer drive. Yeah, and I don't, don't yeah. ever think that I'm, I'm forcing Blaze to do no. these. Like, I, I'm any, happy to do Yeah, this. anytime Blaze wants to stop, he's welcome to stop and we can just do it some other time. But if he wants to cook on and we want to do them, then we'll do them. Mm, right. But I, I don't want anybody to think that I'm being a bad parent. No, keeping It's like 6.30. So, mm -hmm. um, okay. So anyway, uh, kudos on the neck joint. Wish they went into the ab crunch. There's that. Uh, Blaze was saying that he's a little on the skinny side, and I would tend to agree with that. Um, I never think of Adam West as kind of... Sometimes people are like, oh, he's got the paunch, he's chubby or whatever. I never think that Adam West is chubby. I think he was in shape. Right. And he was not a beanpole, and this is a bit on the beanpole side. Mm -hmm. It's a little skinny. Um, but at the same time, I'm glad they didn't go overboard with the muscle right. and make him look like a DC Universe Classics figure. I want him to look different on my shelf. And I, I took one of the pictures of, um, with a DC Classics Black Batman and a Dark Knight Returns in the background, and I want him to look noticeably different than those two on right. my shelf. So I'm kind of okay with the skinnier proportions I like of how him. they gave him a cloth cape, because in a lot of the DC Classics figures, yeah, they do a rubber they don't. cape. And I, the cloth cape, I'm glad you wanted to talk about that, I'm glad you brought it up, because in the prototypes that they showed at the shows and stuff, it was a very thick material. It was almost like felt. It looked really bad. Kind of like the one on that one, like Batman. You had kind of like the first appearance kind of Batman. No, and that was more of a thick material. It was that was a rubbery material though. Uh -huh. um, this is it, this is fabric, but it looked like a really thick fabric. Now this doesn't lay as well as I'd like it to, but it lays way better than that felt looked like it was going to. This uh -huh. reminds me of the material of the old Dark Knight Returns capes or our Dark Knight Collection capes, the Kenner uh -huh. capes. 
Um, the material is really nice. It's it's blue and it's kind of a finished material. It lays good. You can kind of fold it back a little bit to kind of just have a, a Batman sitting there, but it does want to unfurl and kind of show like the sides mm. sticking out a little bit. It is better from what I've seen on pictures than the version that comes in the two pack because the version that comes in the two pack has a wire that runs down each side. So they can do that walking up the wall look with the capes sticking out. Oh, yeah. This one does not have those wires and lays a lot better than that one does. It wouldn't really work to cut out the wires though because it's still leave. there's a hole. Yeah, and it has, still has the stitching where the wire was. Uh -huh. um, overall, I do like the cape. I wish it was a little bit better of material and matched the show a little more. But this is a mass market line. If you're going to want a material that matches the show, get the Hot Toys version. And I really... I don't know if I'm going to buy the Hot Toys versions because they're a lot of money and I don't want to buy the car. Right. So you get what you pay for. They're making another They're making movie. the 60s Batmobile. Wow. Yeah, I'm not getting that That's going to be even bigger because that has to be a bigger two-seat. Yeah, it's, those are bigger it's a big wide car. But I don't think it's as big as the 89 Batmobile. Right. Um, paint apps, let's talk about those a little okay. bit. Um, the blues are really nice because they have this sort of sheen to them. Like this, you see how it's got like a shine yeah, to it? Um, it's I almost like got like it. a metallic speckle to it. And that's kind of trying to get that sort of satiny look that the costume had, which works really well. I think it looks great on him. Um, the mask has a nice paint job to it as well. It's kind of got that sparkle to it. It's got the little blue highlighting on the, on the eye, on the mask itself. And it also even has a little bit of skin tone inside there. They got it in there really yeah, tight, yeah, yeah. and you can uh -huh. see the skin tone around his eyes, um, which I think is a great touch. It yeah. makes it look like it's a mask on a regular guy. Uh -huh. And not just like it's it's all one sculpt. It almost feels like it's two pieces. Um, mine has a bit of a line in the sculpt that's painted over, and it's a bit thick on the face, but I can still see a really strong Adam West likeness uh -huh. in there. I think it looks really good. Uh -huh. That head does. I love the bat that they did in the six. The bat symbol is really cool. And then it's like different from all the other bats. It really is. That and the nineteen eighty nine Batman are the different. Are two kind totally of bats. different. Yeah. Um, the, uh, speaking of the bat symbols, there, there's also a bat symbol that's in the, the belt. It's got a gold buckle and oh, then it's got wow. a bat symbol sort of in there with a that different is, shade of that gold. That is really cool. Yeah, just like the bat belt was on the show, uh -huh. the utility belt. It's, and the utility belt is really nice. It's got uh -huh. a little like sculpting for the thing. I didn't expect it to be that detailed. It's, you know, I was kind of you know, really worried about these when I first saw the pictures. I thought maybe I'm not going to like them. Maybe the quality's not going to uh -huh. be that good. But getting this Batman out, I love this Batman figure. He's uh -huh. a ton of fun. Sure, he has some shortcomings. Sure, he has some drawbacks. But there is no mistaking this is an Adam West Batman sitting on your shelf. And it is fun to pose, and it's fun to have standing there. Right. Um, and it just looks so different than all the other Batman figures that have come before. This, as a kid, I would have gone nuts for this line. You would have? I would have been playing with these things non-stop. Man, I, I, I hope they hold up to play. We'll find out once, once you guys start getting your own uh -huh. versions. I, I bought myself a set because there was only the set there and you guys were still on the fence at the right. time. Um, but once we get you guys samples and you guys start playing with them, um, mm -hmm. not samples, because we don't get samples, mm -hmm. but once yeah. we get you guys versions of them, uh -huh. we're going to get some at the comic shop, so I'll probably get you guys a set each then. Okay. Um, I would really want the Batman 2 pack. Yeah, I figured you'd want the Batman of, 2 yeah, pack instead of the single. Or, um, I really want that Robin because I loved that Robin in that show. Yeah, he's, he's great. Uh -huh. Robin, Robin is great. So, two thumbs way up, even with the shortcomings on the Adam West Batman figure. Okay, uh, we talked about Riddler and Penguin and said, oh, well, if you're going to get the whole line, you might as well get the Riddler, even though he's not the best. Um, you might as well get Penguin, even though he's a little short. No matter what, if you're even tempted to pick up this line, go ahead and pick up the single-card Batman, because he is a, a great, great fun figure. I, I won't say fantastic, because he does have some shortcomings, okay. but he's a really fun, really solid figure, and cool to have on your Batman show. Right. And like I just said, you check out the link in the info section for still pictures and go from there. And we won't say same bad time, same bad channel this time because we don't have any more figures left to review yet. Once the two-pack comes in, we'll review it. And I'll probably end up getting the car, we'll review it. I skipped Bat2C Batman, and I don't think I'm going to go back and pick up Bat2C Batman. It was the San Diego exclusive where he did the dance thing inside the package. Did he ever do that? Yeah, he did it on the 60s show. Um, yeah, he did the... Oh, uh, is that Surf's Up Batman? No, that's, no. that's Batman. Okay. That's Surf's Up Batman. Okay. Batusi Batman is the same Batman, but he's got hands that are sculpted like okay. this, and the packaging makes music and stuff. It was from San Diego Comic Con. Ah. It was 30 bucks. I didn't get it because I wasn't going to get the line. And I don't think I'm going to go back and pick that up. But we will, we will review the two-pack. We will review the car if I buy it, and we will review... Um, 
Catwoman, Joker, and maybe Surf's Up Batman if I buy him. So that is it for them for now. Mm -hmm. If you uh, keep uh, keep on the channel though, if you want to see the other reviews when they happen, mm -hmm. um, and subscribe or whatever. So, all right. So we're gonna do one last review, and then we're gonna shut off for tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.